up into a what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. What's good? Three, two, one. Top, 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 top hill. Episode one hundred and thirty. Holy! <laughs> Welcome to another episode <laughs> of the Top Hill Podcast. This is your boy, Mister Top Hill Pod, aka E Money Boss, and I'm your girl Jamila with her own boss. And guys, welcome to another episode, man. Jamila got the episode right on time. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Prepared. Big one thirty in the building, man. Shout out to all the Top Hill family, man. Everybody that's in the live right now, we appreciate you guys. And uh, wherever you're listening at, if you guys don't know. Let me show y'all something. We got right over 29,000 subscribers. That means we're about to hit the 30K mark. So if you guys... Let's take a along. Hey, yo. <laughs> um, I, I honestly think, I think we're going to get there by probably like the next two weeks. I think we're going to get there. Go ahead, run it up, guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a good time, you know what I mean? We out here for you guys, partying, listening to new music, talking shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, go ahead and sub to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. But um, before we get started, Jamila, how you doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> how was your week? We're weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do anything special or nice or different? Just get into the bag. I, I respect I it. I respect it. That's all I know. It's just like it used to be like so surprising. I'm like getting all this money and doing all this work, getting all these clients. And now it's just like another day. Another day. Another dollar. Nothing new. I respect it. I, I need a vacation. It. Where do you want to go? What's the next trip? Truth be so I think I'm just going to go to Germany to see my nephew. that will be dope. Have you, have you been to Germany before? Never. I heard and I'm dope. dying to see him. Let me show you them. Okay. Let me show you my goddamn nephew. But hold on, I had took this picture. They didn't send me the official pictures yet. They pissed me off about this. Oh, she's looking that up. You. I I decided. You know, I I've been to a lot of countries so far. I have not been to Europe at all yet. Really? I have not been to Europe yet. And um, I think I'm just gonna wait until I get into a relationship to do Europe. Why? Because I don't, I don't think I'm a really appreciate it. Like I, I don't know. I just feel like Europe is like, oh, the baby is the baby. So the baby is so cute. It's such a beautiful little it's a baby. family. It's a beautiful baby. Look at the little baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just, I think that while I'm single, I just need to hit all the single travel locations <laughs> while I'm single. <laughs> And then when I get into a relationship, I'll hit those what little... What is single locations like? Come on, we we not going to do that. We know what the single locations are. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Do you need me to list them? Because it goes right into our topic for today. Okay. <laughs> Passport bros, what's good? I'm here to talk to y'all today. <laughs> Hot ass mess. <laughs> All right. So the single men location list starts off with the Dominican Republic. Colombia, Brazil, okay. Thailand, Philippines is an honorable mention. For male order. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 so, those, if I'm missing one, let me know. But those, those are like the top destination that a lot of single men are going to right now. Okay. And um, <laughs> the reason why. A lot of these men are going out there. If you guys haven't heard of the passport bros, um, basically, from what I've seen, it's men who have decided that they pretty much gave up on women from the West, like pe- women from the United States, women from the UK or had that Western, you know, um, society and goes to these other countries to find more feminine, more submissive, beautiful women that would be with these men. Mm-hmm. And I see, it's funny, I'm going to delete TikTok because TikTok is toxic. Because, you know, as soon as you see one thing, you see it all. They just start shooting shit at you. And all I've seen this week was 
Passport bro shit. Yeah, because you're watching that shit the longest. You're not skipping that shit. You really sit there watching it. The shit is entertaining as fuck. I'm not going to lie. It's entertaining. Like, okay. I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm an attractive man. You know what I mean? I got... I'm making good money. I have a good career. You know, I'm I'm a stable person. I'm a I'm a, a generally a good candidate for a lot of women here, and I don't have any problem finding women here in the states. I will say, when I went to Colombia, it was it was times a thousand. It w- it was kind of ridiculous. So. For a lot of the men that I've seen who claim passport bros and going out to these other co- these other countries, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Most of them niggas is goofy. Most of them are a lot of goofy ass niggas who just instead of working on yourself to be a better man in general, you take for who you are instead of improving yourself, and you just go out there to find the women who is going to appreciate for where you are. Now. To me, as a man, just knowing the environment I grew up in and who I want to be, I still want to elevate myself to be the greatest version of myself. Mm -hmm. Now, when I take myself over there, I'm taking those bitches from y'all. You know what I mean? So it's (laughs) like more the more and more men that find out about this shit and ends up going over there, it... I hope you guys enjoy it for now because it's not going to last that long because eventually they're going to get hit. Dominican Republic is damn near hip already. But are y'all part. going over there and getting wives or are wives just getting y'all? All right. So because I know just from being in the military, mm-hmm. they looking for y'all. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, they looking to get saved. So are they really who they are or are they becoming who y'all want them to be? I, I seen I seen two instances. Cause I'm sure it's fifty fifty. I'm pretty sure y'all women are really vicious too. Yeah, for sure. So the way that niggas is finessing <laughs> over here in the Western world, women are that over there just on a different type of level. Y'all are massive manipulators. I'm not gonna That lie. is what they are. <laughs> and and for them, I, I think the bar is just set a little bit lower. Because okay. There there's two types and I I don't wanna say all women there too. I'm speaking in generalities, okay? Because there there is a misconception for the women who do give a fuck and are upset about passport bros and, and men going out finding women outside of, you know, the states and stuff. The conception is like they're going out of here, finding these women, yeah, they're attractive, but most of them are uneducated and and they just want you for your money or for a green card or something like that. They're just using you and then when they're done with you, they'll be done with you. I met some really intelligent women in Colombia. A lot of them, they're smart. They go to school. Their school system's not trash. Colombia actually is it's a really pretty well developed. Well, not fully developed, but it's you know pretty good standards. A lot of the women I met, smart, go to school, business minded, whatever. But you still don't know which ones are on finesse and which ones are not. You until do. you really get to know them. I mean, there I are going to be some that are more obvious than others, sure. but there are. The professionals. Basically, any woman that's asking you for money up front is is a no. You know what I mean? Not like, all of them are going to ask you for money up front. I can tell you that one right now. There are some they that will. Really, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they know that like, in their head you got it, and they just, yeah. they, it, for the moment. Right. And I don't even know if they're necessarily looking for husbands in that moment. They might just really be, some of them may, but those probably don't, those are not the smart, educated women. Let's be for real. Right. Well, a lot of them, like, are very family oriented as well too. So like a lot of them are okay. This this is one thing that I'm, I'm gonna give to the passport bros. Okay, the women there in these other countries they appreciate their man no matter what they do. Okay, as long as they can provide um, shelter and food, that's their king, and that's enough. Over here, niggas are not even doing that. Okay, hold on, slow down. <laughs> no, that's we don't, slow that's, down. I'm not going too fast. I, I'm, I'm right there. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, majority of I'm, I'm gonna speak about our culture because I'm, I'm black, she black. We can talk about our shit. Majority of black people date within their own race, even though the conception is, you know, black men end up 
trying to find other races and stuff like that. It's actually not true. Majority of black men actually marry black women. The problem that lies is when you start looking at the qualifications that a lot of these women have, I mean, even the most average woman, by every metric you can think of, looks, education, blah, 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 they all want an exceptional man. All of their standards are going to, on average, most of these women are looking for niggas who are six feet tall, six figures. We just had this conversation. <laughs> Before I got out of the car, this was the conversation. Oh, for real? <laughs> this is funny. So, that's the majority of what these women are looking for. So, you got average women mm-hmm. looking for that. And you got the above average woman looking for that. Shit, the lower, the low, I mean, the threes and the fours mm-hmm. are still, still want that. And but who doesn't want that? Okay, cool. Even you can men. want that, but women are willing to not settle. And, and I know settling sounds like a bad, it's the a bad, worst word. It's, it's a bad word. I know it's just like, oh, settle. I've been told all my life not to settle for shit. But if you are, if you look at yourself and take some accountability and be like, you know what, I'm not. I'm not on this level <laughs> where I should be trying to get with this nigga, okay? Because right. I'm not going to lie. Because when, when, when I was on some of these dating ads and stuff like that, I'm just like, come on now. Like, no. Like, <laughs> no. But what are you, are you, this is before, like the swipe or is this the bio or this is like early conversation? Where are we at with the no? They like me. And I'm just like, what are you Get thinking? Get fucking real. Get real. Like, what are you? Why are you here? Because nothing beats a failure but a try. I get you, but I'm not him. Got to shoot the shot. Let's go ahead, shoot your shot. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. You know what I mean? I should read one. Hold up. One was funny. I actually screenshotted it. I hate when I accidentally swipe on the wrong shit, and I, <laughs> I end up entertaining it just for the fun of it. Just Me and my friends just be laughing like shit. See, I don't, I don't play with women like that though. You know what I mean? I'm like, playing. I know. First y- of all, I'm not really talking to, to nobody on any of the apps. I'm keep it a band. I probably out of all the fucking swipes, I might have talked. I'm, I'm definitely ghosting. When I be seeing the shit in the bio, let's do more than just like ghost each other. I'm like, I'm gonna ghost you. <laughs> You're not getting off the app. I'm just here for it. It's like a magazine. Just wanna swipe. Swipe. That's it. I want to. The find internet it. is scary. Like I just don't want to be there. And and I'll say that like the internet is definitely the wrong place to really find people. Now it happens. You can find somebody on there. I definitely and vibe. believe you can. You definitely can. Um, I mean, shit. My last relationship, I, it was I found her online. But the best, the best way to really. Get a vibe, and this is for the men out there. The best way is really in person. Like you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be comfortable with approaching women. Be okay with taking rejection. It's not a big deal. Man up, just do that shit. Eventually, like you're gonna get better at it, just like with anything. And <clears throat> the right one gonna be there. Damn, I wish I could find this John. But oh, here it is. <laughs> All right. So one of one of my Jones that I put on, um, this is on Hinge. I said the hallmark of a good relationship is honesty, communication, and great sex. So she gonna write me is like, you're cute, but I'm celibate. So just letting you know that you fine, but guess we wouldn't work um, work out per the above message. Why are you writing Why me? Why did you write? <laughs> Why are you writing me? <laughs> like he told you he wants to have sex right off. I, the, I told you, you what the hallmark. This is what to me is the hallmark of a good relationship. And what is it again? She, Honesty, communication, and great sex. Yeah, that's pretty simple. You that, know what I mean? Pretty good. Thank you. I, I thought it was. I thought it was I. Right. You know what I mean? But but that you know. So funny. So like, I will say this. Okay. <laughs> Just hear yours. <laughs> that is funny. I haven't been on hand. But um that is funny. Like <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> the fact that she wrote you. Mm-hmm. She wanted you to say, baby, don't worry about the sex. She she wanted me to compromise what I'm saying to get on no. That doesn't make sense. Well, I'm not compromising. You're not compromising. So what about the people, right, that mm-hmm. have these high standards, right? Yes. That deserve the high standards. 
I feel like okay. there's certain men that deserve their their standard of what they For sure. want. But most of the time, men can't actually say what their standards are out loud because we most men will be judged for it for the most part. Really? Yeah, for sure. What are the standards? You think uh, you would get judged? Huh? You think you would get judged for yours? I don't think so. I want to hear it. I want to hear the honesty. Um, my standards. I don't. I don't know how to like really put it like if you ask me like some questions i can answer like what what i'm good with what i'm not good with okay that's funny well i just told you we literally i just had this conversation before i got out the car like Mm -hmm. literally a guy asked me like describe my husband Mm -hmm. and i did okay but i described me (laughs) (laughs) no because i feel like what i was asking for though yeah i feel like i can reciprocate right so okay, but then he um, th- but the way that he responded was like, okay, well you just named like ten things. <laughs> he was yeah. like, you're not gonna get like all of those things. I said, hold on, wait, those are my non-negotiables. I was like, because it's not like I said I need him to be over six. Like it was certain things that I want on the list mm-hmm. that I didn't mention. Right. You know what I mean? When it came to like, I said he has to be attractive. But I didn't say he had to be fly as fuck. Like he could mm-hmm. be a bama. Mm-hmm. But he has to have the the foundation. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like you gotta have the jeans. I can dress you. Right? Because I'm about to say some women will be okay with dressing. I I, I would be happy for a woman to step in because the last thing I'm thinking about is fucking clothes and shit. I hate. I shopping. will dress the shit out you. Like mm-hmm. if you got the wrong barber, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. you don't have to be a certain height for me. I would really really prefer it. I'm but I'm tall though. Like I've always been tall, and I've also had some good guys. How tall that are you? I'm five nine. So you would date a man that's my like, height. Ryan's my height. Well, he's an inch taller than me, but okay, it was comfortable. It wasn't a problem. Okay, and from what I've noticed statistically, <laughs> <laughs> you about to you about to pull out your notes. What, what do your notes say? The short niggas be having a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Like seriously, I'm not I even gonna know. hold you. You wouldn't know, I mean, I but I'm know. telling you. So like, I've learned to not make that like a super big deal. But mm-hmm. if like a short nigga approach me, like you gonna have to really like. You have to have that confidence. Yeah, you have to have that. And confidence. a lot of them will have that confidence because they, they have no choice. They have no choice, yeah. and it is it can be attractive, especially mm-hmm. when you see tall niggas approaching you, and it's just like you goofy as shit, right. like. You goofy as shit. Yeah, because they're going off for just one thing, but didn't improve the other things. But yeah. All right, so let's let's get back to the topic at hand. So, passport bros, what what is your um, what is your initial reaction to? It? Have you heard the phrase before? You know what yeah, it is. The, the, um, I've seen a couple videos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what what are your initial thoughts on it? I really don't have any thoughts on it, honestly. Just because mm-hmm. I feel like if you don't see somebody that you want here, it is what it is. But half of the time, like, I feel like a lot of people are just wasting their time with the wrong women here. Like, I just cannot believe that every woman here is bad because I'm yeah. here. Like, it's just <laughs> like, what the fuck? Here. Like, that's crazy. But yeah. I do know that I'm a lot, but I'm not that much. Like, like I said, what I want is, like, what I'm able to reciprocate. Like, it's just not that... I don't know. Yeah, I, I think people don't realize... Okay. the Social media has shrunken a lot of the states where a lot of people are influenced by other cultures and stuff like that. So, I get where some guys are thinking like, you know, all these girls think this way or every single time I, I try to do this, she's expecting this of me or she wants me to do this. And it can get annoying. But these guys, uh, you got to move around a little bit. You know what I mean? You got to evaluate your city. Like, to me, I ain't going to lie. I'm in the DMV. It sucks here. It is trash. It is trash. But you would think that with all the trash, you could spot a diamond. Like, you would think. And and y'all usually can. But then when it really boils down to is. Y'all ain't really who y'all really need to be for them. For us. Like And y'all are not really what y'all need to be for us either. Like the diamonds, I'm not talking about the the bitches like the ones that are just trash. Because it's okay. trash here. We know that it's trash here. But but why is so okay, we're gonna talk about this real quick. Because the DMV is known to have some of the most beautiful women in the whole country. Like you think so? 
Absolutely. Yeah, what for the fuck sure. Are you talking about? For sure. You go to brunch on Sundays on U Street, A Street. Yeah, they out there. Like, they bad as shit. Like, I'm not saying that we not bad here, but I'm going to say where I seen the pretty bitches at. Well, I can't. All right. I don't know. <laughs> DC is in everybody's, okay. like, at least top five. Really? At, for sure. You got. It's Atlanta, it's DC, Houston. I'm about to say Houston was my number one. And yeah, New Orleans for the Yams. I haven't been to New Orleans yet. Oh, <laughs> I haven't my been to New Orleans God. Yet. I need to go. I know. Yam I've been I've been talking about going to Central. New Orleans. Is it really? It's the most natural and the biggest asses I've ever seen in my Don't life. Tell me that. They say and Georgia they, peaches. I've been to Georgia and it was cool. Big booty. But yeah, something about cool. that New Orleans ass, they're everywhere. Like it had my neck. I was like, my neck was hurting. I need to get the new ones. I need. Um, you gonna catch a case? Yeah. Because it was. Nah, they be like, shooting out there. Like it was. Just, like it was just so much ass. Like for real. Everywhere, even the little bitches. Like when I say bitches that was this big, ass, natural, lovely. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> So New Orleans in the list too, um, but yeah. So so the DMV has a lot of pretty um, attra attractive women, and it's also is home. that because of the foreigners? Are we talking foreigners? We, we're, we're just talking about there's the black DMV. people in general, black people in general uh -huh. in the DMV. Like I'm sure there's a lot of African people who are here who are beautiful. A lot. Uh, that are Virginia beautiful. is flooded. Yeah, and then and they're here, so it's it's a mixture of that. PG County. I mean, they used to call it Pretty Girl County. Chocolate City used to be Chocolate City, so. Um, and then on top of all that, it's one of the wealthiest black areas in the world mm -hmm. um, section here. So you would think a lot of attractive women, a lot of people who have a lot of money. What's the issue? Mm. And yeah, That's um, the, problem. the problem. We get too much money out here. I think it's too much money. I, I think for the first time, you know, you know, it's it depends on how you look at it. You know, women no longer need men. They just want men at this point. Mm -hmm. They can really, you know, live on their own lives. They've been taught. A lot of us <laughs> been raised sing, single families, you know, independent, get it on your own. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. But there could be a good guy. May not make as much money as you or might be similar to your level, but you're just chasing that top percent of guy. And all the top percent of guys, for the most part, are not looking to settle at all because most of those guys if they if they're the rappers the ball players the 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 investors or whoever just is just making that kind of money and they're attractive and they're not goofy like you are fighting against a thousand bitches Amen. trying to get to that nigga <laughs> it's just the one i want though <laughs> <laughs> one, and, one, I once, fucked up though once that nigga is him then you're you're competing you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And a lot of women don't even realize that they're competing. You know they what I mean? They are dumb. I know they're dumb. No, 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 no. But <laughs> <laughs> Get you a nigga on your level, be happy, make a family, and keep it moving. But a lot of women don't want to do that. They don't want to, they don't want to be comfortable. They want to all live in a extravagant, extravagant life. You know what I mean? Once you get that fast money, once you get, like, that rush, sometimes, sometimes women get it, and then they snap out of it and realize, like, oh, shit, this, this shit's actually trash. Mm. And then they come back. But then it's too late because you already ran through, and then, <laughs> then, yeah. but then sometimes, and then they don't they don't know why they can't get a guy anymore, and then you know what I mean they got like you know five children, and it's just like what the hell's going on here? If I show up like with an average nigga, right? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Just average, right? <laughs> now, now, let how me, does that look? All right, let, let me let me just explain what average is, okay? If we just talk about. Most people, I have, I have the average man in the United States is about five foot eight. He, is that so? Yeah, it's five foot eight. And wow, average income, depending on your location and okay. where you're living in the United States, mm -hmm. is between thirty seven thousand to fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay. So this nigga in the DMV making probably fifty thousand dollars a year. He he could probably just make it on his own. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He might not have the nicest car. Might have a decent house, or okay. might be renting or whatever. But th but that guy is normally not on the radar for most women. Because like I said, even the most I average woman. I show up with that guy. Uh -huh. How does that look? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, so that guy mm -hmm. is the guy who's going to go to Colombia 
and be like, the woman's going to say that this man is enough. You know what I mean? I said, if I show up, Jamil. I know. I if hear I you. Show I hear up, you. I'm just like, letting you know. This is my man. Does he make you happy? He's <laughs> 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 making you happy? I don't know. That's funny. <laughs> That's See? funny. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, I consider everybody. Except for like, we just not doing, I don't do ugly. I, I mean, I get it. I, I do not do And ugly. I don't believe that women shouldn't have standards. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, like, women should got, definitely have standards. Oh, I'm definitely. There's a lot of bum ass me. niggas too. I understand. It's a lot of bum ass niggas that mm. are catfishing mm. average and high class niggas. Mm-hmm. But there's also a lot of women who are not providing any value in a relationship. Either. Absolutely. It's, it's just, they're only bringing them, themselves. They are the table. They just, they just look. You that's know what I mean? a mess. Yeah, so. But that's what y'all niggas want. Like, y'all oh. telling everybody that that's what y'all want and that's what these bitches is doing. Not, every single time a nigga uh, comes out here and says what he wants, it just gets ignored pretty much. Like, we always say what we want. Like, no, y'all don't. Yes, we do. Like, for the longest time, like, a lot of men say, I used to say this all the time. Love natural women. Like, okay. don't need you to get the BBLs and stuff like that. We we like you the way you are. You know, we like your natural hair. We like this. We like that. And they're just like. But then nope. y'all be up in the bitches' faces with like I'm, y'all will cheat thank you. on the natural thank, girl. Thank, with thank the you for bringing this up. Said. Thank you for bringing this up. Please, a lot of women get this confused. There is sexual attraction, and then there is relationship attraction right but who doesn't want to be sexually attracted to someone that they're in a relationship with and why do i want to be in a relationship with you if you're not sexually attracted to me but you're sexually attracted to everything else so this is the thing how does that work i'm gonna tell you how it works so the relationship attraction includes sexual attraction because i don't want to be in a relationship with relationship with you if i'm not attracted to you right now on the other side on the other side the guy might want to have sex with a girl who's really 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 attractive but will never wipe her up. Will will never be with her. And that's fine. But mm-hmm. as your woman, why? Mm-hmm. How do you think that makes me feel? That's crazy. Men in general are just gonna want to like like our brains are gonna always be wired to but be attracted say, to multiple women. I want you to be women. natural, and I don't want you to do because that's what I want that. for you. Because I want to be with you. But niggas then cheat on those same exact bitches. That is the strangest shit. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm speaking for the ladies because I, I never been cheated on, honestly. <clears throat> I feel I give that good balance, though. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I can be that bitch that's beat to the gods, weave down to my ankles. Like, the only thing I'm not ever going to do is that BBL shit. That is just not for me. Mm-hmm. But then I'm going to give you natural. I'm yeah. going to have an afro. I may be bald head. Yeah. And I'm I'm just saying, like, that's just in general. There, of course, there's going to be some men who prefer other things and whatever, but it is what it is. I'm just saying for the most part, you know what I mean? Like, we we don't need. I, I know you mentioned y'all got women co- like you said competing with other women right. even for their own man. Like you know what I'm saying. You say that you want me natural, da, 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 and then bitches will try to compete with the bitches that you are. I think women just need to do a better job of actually vetting the kind of man that they want to be with instead of. So we need to get passport. It need to be passport sisters at this point in time because it's given that the we problem all is, are in the same ocean together fishing together and the the men are taking the initiative and getting the fuck on but we still stuck with the same niggas like well, what the, well the problem the problem is the guys that you guys normally want are people who are like attractive financially secure this is the most financially secure country you're going to get most of the men that you're going to be the most attracted to are going to be here Maybe in the West, maybe the UK and stuff like that. Cool, but you're not gonna go. I'm thinking uh, you're not gonna countries. go to Barbados because I know more. Like, you're not a gonna lot go of to paid niggas over there. You're not gonna go to Barbados and pick up a nigga there. Like you know, he might be attractive. You know what I mean? But you're not you're not gonna go to Colombia <laughs> to find a man there. You're not gonna go to Brazil to find a man there because they're not they're not gonna be able to provide you the level of security that you're used they to. I can plug me in. It's it's not it's not gonna be the same. It's, you it's, don't, it's you don't just think not, the coke jumping over there? So I mean, just <laughs> you see them Columbia streets they pay really well you know what I mean but um, yeah, I can find me a plug but Lord that it's kind of like a double standard it doesn't work the opposite way where women can go out and find men that way like of course it happens for sure you know what I mean I hear about the Nigerian niggas coming over here grabbing some of the American women mm. blah, blah. That, ha- that happens but like when it comes to like percentage wise it's just 
a lot easier for the men here to go to other countries to find women and wives compared to like the women here going out finding. But how couples. do we know that? Because like I said, it's a lot of African countries. They love mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. They love American women. And we love African women. Okay. They, they're us anyway. They're, they're, they're the gang. They're family. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, but we still leaving the West to go mm-hmm. further East. Yeah. Arab countries, there's rich men there. But see, the thing about that mm. is the pussies already ran through here, and they don't. They do not. They do not play that. that shit. Exactly. Exactly. So that's 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 what I'm saying. It's just it doesn't work out the same way. Even though you, you would think like, oh, let me just flip the script and, and and do that. It doesn't work that way because, like you said, the Arab Africa America, is they a want big virgins. continent. They got yeah. They need virgins. Yeah. Because they already getting them over there. <laughs> right. And yeah. And there's there's some guys who really want that, and they'll go over there and get them. You know what I mean? Um. Or no, at the same time though, with a lot of women, it's women here who are willing to settle for people that are not that attractive and don't have that much money. Men are not that nice either. Like some of the men here, they just don't know how to. It's too much, especially if we talk about dating in our community. Like even the ones that's not all that attractive or don't make all that amount of money, they still be trash. The one they come from fatherless homes and they have mommy issues. Mm-hmm. Women are dating average men. Let's not even act like that. Yeah. I did it. It did not work out. That nigga was trash. And I tried to work with this nigga. Like, mm. the mommy issues, the daddy issues. Like, I'd rather go get me a broke nigga from, from, from Africa that's ready to get some money and need a green card. <laughs> um, that nigga will work and get some money. I've seen it done before. It, but see, this is the thing. You've seen it done before, but it... it We're just not doing it. Mm-hmm. Y'all are doing it. The women just are not doing it. I believe, I think we could do it. Even if we didn't get somebody that was already successful. Niggas lack ambition here. I wish y'all the best of luck. I'm not going to <laughs> but... because I know better. I'm scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> I do a white man first. Oh, God. Here we go again. <laughs> Looking for a G. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so... Um, what I, there was one more point that I wanted to get to that, but it's cool. Not that grass. We should probably get into the reactions. But yeah, guys, just level up, man. At the end of the day, make yourself a better a better man all, overall. If you feel like you're weak in one area, focus on improving in that area. Because I'm goofy ass passport bros. Them what? The marriages are not going to last if they ain't shit. That's what I wanted to get into. Okay. And if you are going to go. Don't bring them back here. Cause they're going to get the fuck on. <laughs> because uh, that's a lot. Okay, this this happens a lot. You guys will go over there, fall in love with this woman. She'll fall in love with you. You'll bring her over here, and she will get corrupted. It's just like a virus going to any PC. You don't want to do that. Like, cause once a she taste get, of freedom. Yeah, it's not even a taste of freedom. So like, I'm and I'm not variety. gonna. I, I'm not gonna hold you. I met some. I met some good friends out there, mm-hmm. okay? And when I tell you they're like nines and tens, like they're bad as hell. And you will look at their Instagram, they'll got they'll get like 300 followers, 500 followers, something like that. They like they have no like social media presence like that. Mm-hmm. Their cameras are trash. But um <laughs> there was this, there was a story of this one guy. He went out there, married married a girl, I think it was in Colombia or the DR, one of them. Brings her back over here. After two years, got her green card, divorced him. She went from having like 500 followers to having like 30K and she just left that nigga. Like, because at this point, you know, you flip the game. You know what I mean? It's competition now at this point. She sees that, okay, you were great for this time, but there's, a, there's another guy over here who's like leveled up way past you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go with that. And I'm just keep climbing the ladder. So at the end of the day, you still want to be the best version of yourself regardless. That's you, a huge risk you taking. A huge risk. I mean, if you go out there, and I'm not saying all passport bros are, passport bros are goofy, because just in case y'all try to attack me, I'm not saying all y'all are. Some of y'all, I get it. Like, you guys been through marriages, tried it, long time, didn't work out, and it was just like, you know, I'm just, I'm tired of dealing with the same old, same old. Let me go over here to a woman who's actually going to appreciate me because I see it happen all the time. I get it. I understand that. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the to the people who are not willing to improve on their inadequacies. That's who I'm talking to. Now, for the other guys, I ain't going to hold y'all. I told Jamil this. These women got five years and I'm going to Columbia. I ain't going to hold y'all. Oh, Columbia. <laughs> you ain't even visit all the countries yet. How do you know it's Columbia? I know it's Columbia. 
Oh my god! Give me a nice Afro Latino. You know what I mean? Shut up. Domin- Dominican Republic. I, I don't want to do Dominican Republic. Why? They're too close to what? I feel like it's way more for that. I feel like people go really there just to have sex, not really for relationship type shit. Really? Yeah, for sure. Oh man, I like, don't want to go there. Yeah, cause the DR. I mean. Mm, Stay on the resort. <laughs> Enjoy your resort. But like the the women out there, they're really about just getting the back. And and niggas gone over there and fucked that shit all the way up. Like there was there was this one guy, he really went out there and he just started throwing money like in the air, stuff like that. He got his ass robbed. Like just going there being stupid. Like you you do not oh, you do not need to go to these other countries being flashy, wearing jewelry, expensive clothes, none of that shit. It's, it's, you are a lick. You are a lick They don't have the police that we have. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same, but you know, you can't take the nigga out of the nigga sometimes. Um, I don't like Brazil because it's Portuguese. That's a whole different language that is going to take too much. You know what I mean? They are beautiful. They are beautiful. I know. But they're a little bit further away too. Like Colombia, actually, Colombia really right there. I ain't going to hold you. Africa, there's a lot. There's a lot of countries in Africa. I need. I love. I love East African women, like the Ethiopians, them uh, the the Kenyans, the was it Djibouti? I don't know. One all them Jones over there. Them Jones is top tier. Love. I love me some Ghana. Yeah, I mean, I, I need I need to go across Africa too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So five years. We Time's going ticking. This year. We going. Where we going? Africa, Ghana. Oh yeah, Ghana. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a GoFundMe account. You know what I mean? Go ahead and uh, put your uh, if you guys wanted to come out to Ghana in December, Daddy December. We trying to get out there, man. We trying to we trying to party with you guys, and um, and yeah, man, rock out. All right. Top hill, top hill.